Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. If you are new to this channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. Hit the bell so you know whenever I post a video. So, hashtag free Britney. Hashtag free Britney. Where is Britney? First of all, okay, let me just say this. Let me put this this way. Literally, for like the past, I don't know, four, four or five weeks, I literally have not been watching so many of the channels that I really, really love who usually keep tabs with Britney because everything is like really, really, really polarized right now. Same thing with Hailey Bieber. And it, it seems like it always comes back to the same thing that I see as, I mean, I guess a millennial. I actually remember the time before social media. And so I guess when you have done that, you have hindsight enough to see like, how crazy life has gotten since social media became like a thing right and so the thing is is like it just seems like social media doesn't have a brain on its own if someone trolls everybody trolls if someone thinks that somebody is being um crazy everybody thinks that person is crazy amber Heard's trial is an exact example of that right and I know, as someone who is building my little small community here on my channel, you know, which by no means is like, you know, the big, big, big channels out there, um, even I get trolls and, and people who come on here just thinking like, I am, I don't even know, the Antichrist or something like that. And so I can definitely understand all of this to basically say, I can understand why Britney Spears experienced mental health issues. I can understand that because the thing is, is like, if you're just subjected to that hate, the hate that exists online all the time, and you don't have a super strong sense of self, a super duper strong support system, I mean, it's like, it just doesn't even matter. You, you're just going to fall by the wayside. And so... I wanted to caveat that with saying this, but I have this article from Geo News. I'm really, really particular about which articles I look at. Geo News seems to be one of the ones that's like, um, I don't know. It seems to be one of the ones that's a little bit more, what is the word that I'm looking for? Uh, tasteful and tactful and also not super duper, I guess, subjective. Anyway. So this article is from April 25th, 2023. It says, Britney Spears dishes on creating boundaries in life so no one can pull others down. Mm. People think that Britney Spears is crazy, but I do. I am not one of them. I don't think that Britney Spears is crazy. I think that Britney Spears has been through some shit. I think that she's been through some shit and she's been on social media basically since it it, it has existed. And since social media has existed, hate has controls has existed. I mean, they, they're ruining lives everywhere. But anyway, so, no, the key is that they're not ruining your life. You don't let them ruin your life. But anyway, it says Britney Spears talks about balancing life and creating boundaries after fans sent police to her house for wellness check. I remember that. We live in such a world where everybody thinks, like, they have authority into every single second of your life just because we have this thing called social media does not mean that you need to see people or talk to them or see them post an instagram post every single day of their life i mean life exists outside of this thing called social media anyway so um i'm gonna skip down to all the fluff i'm just gonna go straight to the quote of what she said okay so she says this is Brittany. Brittany says in a world where women are so incredibly sensitive, it's extremely important to pace ourselves with balance. Otherwise, our emotions can take over and we listen to our emotional side. She goes on to say, balance and boundaries is such a wonderful word for being clean, clean and healthy, healthy. I love her so much. She's so cute. In a world where the percent of bullying as a, is at its highest, it is important to listen to the way we all speak to each other. Boom, right there. I'm talking about it in my book about love for millennials. 
I'm talking about it in other videos on this channel. There is something happening right now, and we are not healthy. We're not healthy in our mind. We're not healthy in our bodies. And bullying, I mean, bullying. When, I mean, like I said, I'm a millennial, so I grew up on Disney Channel and all that same stuff that you guys did. And, you know, social media was really first emerging when I was a young teen and, and even a preteen, probably even before that. And I just remember, you know, when I was 11, 12, 13 years old, all the movies on Lifetime were all about cyberbullying. It was all, you know, that the, 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 the pep rallies, whenever there was like that, that serious segment of the pep rallies at school, it was always talking about bullying, you know, we were always spreading awareness on cyberbullying. But I feel like cyberbullying is worse today. It's worse today than when it first started really emerging a long time ago. So I'm really happy that she's stepping up and advocating for that. But anyway. She says, in a world where the percent of bullying is at its highest, it is important to listen to the way we all speak to each other. <laughs> you know what? Starting this channel has been such, uh, like, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? A joy. It's been a joy to me because of the people who support me, you know, and the people who keep the conversation going, right? The bad part of it are the people who don't know how to speak to people, the people who don't know how to speak to me, the people who don't know how to disagree while remaining respectful. And perhaps they do. Maybe their mama did raise them right. And perhaps they do know how to speak to people without disrespecting them. But they're not doing it. They're choosing not to do it. And you know what? Sometimes I will, I mean, the support that I get from the people who are really here for the goodness, the goodness for Najwa, you know. It's like with those people, their warmth, their charisma, their excitement, um, their solidarity, like their curiosity along with me because I'm a truth seeker and a lot of the stuff that I talk about on my channel is truth seeking type stuff, you know, it's like that even way outweighs the negative. So there, there's, there's definitely... You know, they can't defeat you. You don't let naysayers defeat you. But we don't know how to speak to each other anymore. I, I mean, I don't just I don't just see this, you know, emerging on social media. It's not just on social media. It's rampant on social media, but it's not just on social media. You go outside into the world and people don't know how to talk to you. You talk to someone on customer service and it's like, it's your job to be nice with them. <laughs> it's like, I mean... The, it, it's, it's, people don't know how to talk to people and Britney Spears is not crazy. She sees that. She sees that. She's just dealing with all the same emotional baggage that most of us are dealing with in this day and age because we were sold a dream that because we have social media, because we have, you know, all of these perks and amenities these days that we got the longer end of the stick. But now we're finding out that there's something deeper, you know, that we have to delve deeper for us to know that we really are fulfilled from within and not with things that are outside of us. Britney Spears understands that. But anyway, so she goes on to say, I was always told happy girls are always the prettiest. Now, if you are happy, that's extremely uncool. You just got it right there. It, it, right now, it feels like it's not cool to be happy. Britney Spears is not crazy. So, she says, see, I've been blessed. I've never had a problem with people hurting my feelings or demoralizing me or going lower than low. People, thankfully, have always been up to my expectations. Remember boundaries. Mm. so yeah that's it that's what she said guys Britney Spears is not crazy and she if, if people if people would stop trying to label people so prematurely if people would expand upon themselves vis-a-vis -a, -vis a little bit more emotional intelligence you know and people would actually introspect enough to be the best version of themselves, I really think the world would be a better place. But it's okay. We're going to get back there. I think right now, all these technological tools that we have, it seems like they've been around forever. But 
they're really new, you know, they're really new. And I think that, you know, cases of like what Britney Spears has encountered, uh, the Sussexes, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, um, Amber Heard, all, I mean, I could go on all day, you know, all these people who have experienced sort of harassment online, these trolls online, um, and they still got up. They still kept going towards their mission. They still kept going towards on their goals. Um, it means something. It, it means something bigger than we possibly know right now. Social media is still pretty rudimentary. We feel like it's so new. But I guarantee you if we look back on this 50 years from now, 100 years from now, it's going to have been changed. It's going to have morphed into something completely different, you know. And so... We, it's up to us to really remember that we are human beings. I'm going to say that again. It's up to us to really remember that we are human beings. You know, social media is a wonderful thing. But the minute that you, it's like those people who leave those nasty comments and, and things like that. Or even just the people like the people who sent police to Britney Spears' house. Like people who were just crossing boundaries and, and, and you know, <laughs> like they, they're not taking cues and things like that. Um, I feel like those people are not really in touch with themselves. I feel like they probably are not very in touch with themselves. And I feel like a lot of those people who send harassment more particularly, in particular the people who put you down or attack you or harass you or you know even at the worst case scenario these celebrities like this they probably receive death threats at, at least from time to time you know it's like they are pointing a finger at you like you are the problem like you are not worthy like you are unhappy you are depressed you are a lost case your pity um but I have a feeling if I looked into those people's lives, if I could just be a fly on the wall, I would not see a happy person. I wouldn't see a happy home. And I wouldn't, I, I don't think, I, I definitely wouldn't see someone who was in touch with themselves as a human being. We are human beings. <laughs> don't let Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Reddit, whatever, don't let you forget it you know and if you viewer you right there are looking at this and you need someone to remind you that you are beautiful you are worthy you are loved i'm telling it to you right now so tell me what you guys think i mean britney spears i feel like is a humanitarian she's one of those people who's kind of like a humanitarian without even having to pick up her finger because she does live her life that is authentically and I think a, a lot of people, it's like she said, it's not cool right now to be happy. It's not cool right now. So, um, I really would love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. And again, if you're new to this channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. Hit the bell so you know whenever I post video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.